Indiana defines online learning as a form of remote instruction that takes place using the internet and other digital tools, either synchronously or asynchronously. Additionally, Indiana identifies blended learning as leveraging both technology-based and face-to-face -face instructional approaches. It is important to understand the instructional practices that are often used in face-to-face -face teaching and how they can be adapted for blended and online learning scenarios. These instructional practices include general categories such as demonstration, collaboration, practice, and assessment or feedback. In face-to-face -face learning scenarios, teachers readily utilize a variety of instructional practices. When transitioning to blended or online learning, various limitations might impact how instructional practices are planned and implemented. Factors that impact instructional practices in blended and online learning include available technology and instructional resources, student engagement methods, and desired or required learning outcomes. Additionally, Teachers should consider whether blended or online learning is best conducted synchronously or asynchronously, or as a combination of both. It is important to acknowledge that this determination may be mandated by district or school leadership. Before identifying specific instructional practices and how they can be brought into the classroom, it is vital to note that some of these practices may be better suited for either synchronous or asynchronous classes. Teachers often conduct demonstration activities in the face-to-face -face classroom. In blended and online learning, teachers can utilize synchronous interactive presentations using a tool like Nearpod or Prezi Video for demonstration activities. Students can be provided printable examples, such as a PDF or a slideshow, allowing students to reference the document as needed in the manner they prefer. Additionally, Teachers can utilize video creation or screencasting to record instructional material for students to view independently. Some teachers use a jigsaw strategy in the face-to-face -face classroom for promoting student collaboration. Students are placed in small groups and are tasked with learning about a specific topic. After the small groups have become experts on their topic, the small groups come together and teach each other about the topic. This strategy can be implemented online using video conferencing breakout rooms and written or video discussion forums. For example, using Flip, students would post a video according to a discussion prompt and then respond to and interact with other student video responses. Additionally, teachers can utilize the catch-up strategy where during a transitional point in the synchronous online class, teachers place their students into breakout rooms. While in breakout rooms, the students compare notes and ask clarifying questions about the recent instruction before coming back together as a whole class to continue with the instruction. Guided practice is a strategy that teachers can use in online environments. Guided practice, teachers create an interactive presentation using a program such as Edpuzzle or Nearpod. Teachers can embed questions or activities during the presentations for students to complete as they watch the presentation. Independent practice is another strategy for teachers to utilize in blended and online learning. For example, during synchronous learning toward the end of a lesson, teachers can provide students with automated practice using a game-based platform such as Kahoot or Quizlet, or using the quiz feature of the school's LMS, or using programs like Google Forms and Microsoft Forms. There are also a variety of strategies that teachers can implement when assessing students in blended and online learning. Teachers may utilize informal assessments, such as providing a short poll or survey question for students to complete as they finish the lesson. Teachers may utilize formal assessments to determine content, mastery, or growth. For example, students might be tasked, be tasked with completing a book report. This report can be adapted to blended and online learning by providing students the option to complete the report using text, writing the report in a Google or Word document, or via an audio or video recording, utilizing programs like Flip or iMovie. Additionally, teachers may ask students to participate in self-reflection. Students can respond to a reflection prompt through a written discussion board or through a video discussion program such as Flip. The way that these strategies are implemented may vary by class and subject area, as each blended and online learning scenario is unique and may have its own list of limitations and resources available. 
By utilizing a variety of instructional practices, teachers can make the best choice for their blended and online learning. Additional resources on blended and online instructional practices are available on this webpage. Resources include a printable summary, related examples, examples, articles, blogs, infographics, and videos, and links to other related blended and online teaching hub topics.